Good afternoon, everybody, from Archbishop's House in Liverpool. I'm about to start a recording a video message. It's not something I'm very good at. In fact, uh, this is only the second one I've done. If you look on uh, YouTube, you'll see there's various other things that I did in the past, in my last ISIS, for example, but I was kind of um, directed during those, but this is just me having a go very much on my own. The reason I'm doing it is that I just want everyone in the Archdiocese to know that, that they, they, every person has a very special place in my heart and prayers during these very difficult times. Um, it's very hard to know how to encourage you, except to say that, um, that we are all encouraged by our closeness to the Lord. Today is a very special feast. It's the Annunciation of, by the Angel Gabriel uh, to Mary. In the um, medieval times, this feast was often called the Salutation. And uh, you would find there were pubs called this across the country. So today, I salute you uh, as the angel Gabriel saluted Mary. And I'd like to, first of all, say, be not afraid. Don't be afraid at the moment. Because there is so much fear around that we don't want that to be the problem. The problem is the coronavirus, not fear. Don't let fear become your problem. Remember that the Lord is always close to you. On this feast of the Annunciation, Mary was able to accept that very powerful gift which was given her by God to, because she was ready for it. And what made her ready for it was the fact that she was open to God and that she was inter and dependent, interdependent on other people. They're two wonderful characteristics which we can learn from Mary. We become open to God through our prayers and through reading the Bible, through works of charity and mercy, the standard sort of things we do during Lent. They're very important to us because we can bear our soul before the Lord, knowing that he will always be with us. And Mary was like that. She was a Jewish girl brought up on the Psalms, she knew them off by heart. Everybody did in those days. And she also knew her history as a member of God's chosen people. And she is the one whom God's promise to Abraham is fulfilled. And we are all blessed through her, blessed and redeemed. As a poor person, she would have been very reliant on other people. Those of us who have had humble backgrounds really understand what that means when you do accept you know, help of neighbours and when you offer it. Um, and that's rather appropriate as well for today's crisis because we need to be open to others, to be dependent on them slightly. And yet at the same time, of course, we have to abide by government regulations. But we can keep our distance and still be concerned, thanks to the gift of, the, of modern media. We're very lucky to have social media to help us uh, through this crisis. So today is the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And we can pray together the prayer which the angel said to her, well, which became a prayer, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. <laughs>